I'm going to show you how to bind SSL for a certificate to one of your websites in Internet Information Services on a Windows 2019 server. We're going to use the default website just as an example. And when we highlight the website on the left hand side, take a look at the right hand side. You'll see a link that says bindings. So I'll click on bindings. And by default, it's only going to be bound to port 80. So what if you want to add a certificate? Well, you can do that. Just click on Add and change the type to HTTPS. Then make sure the port says 443, as you see here. Now under host name, we want to use the same host name as the name of the certificate. So I'm going to take a look at my certificate list here. I'm going to use the dc1.techpub.us. So I'll type in dc1.techpub. Dot us. And then I'm going to go over here to the SSL certificate and choose that particular certificate. Now we see two different certificates with the same name. So we click on view just to make sure you're picking the correct one, one that's not been expired. After you do that, click OK. And now it's bound to our web server. So now we should be able to get in using HTTPS instead of just regular HTTP. So I'll click close, go back here. I'm going to type in https colon slash slash dc1.techpub.us. Now this is a self-signed certificate that's not been trusted, so you may end up getting an error. But in my case, I went ahead and uh, already told it to trust it. So that's why I didn't see that pop up that normally happens. Although we do get a little message here that you've added a security exception to the site. So that's why it is you see that. You might get a warning saying uh, that there's danger or something like that to it. Now, if you want to know how to properly trust the certificate, maybe even create the certificate, I have a video for that in this playlist. So take a look for that. You'll learn how to create it. You'll learn how to do all the different steps that you need. But this is just how you bind it to port 443.